Hey guys, it's Sonia here. Welcome back to another video. Um, so I got sent a video by a YouTuber recently on Twitter that really confused me. I watched a bit of it, but I didn't watch the whole video because I realized this would probably make an interesting YouTube video. So as soon as I saw the title and the thumbnail, uh, the title is Saving Every Fish from the Pet Store Dumpster. I had a bad feeling about this video and a feeling that it might be completely fake, allegedly. So I thought we'd watch it today and figure it out ourselves. They actually have multiple videos doing the same thing, rescuing fish from the dumpster. And yeah, I just don't know how I feel about it yet. So we're going to watch it together and see what we think because I am a bit concerned that these videos might be fake and you'll see why. Okay, so the video that got sent to me was this one. This is actually the most recent video from two weeks ago, but there are other videos. So I think I'm going to watch the oldest one first. Oh, okay. I think all these videos are going to be fake because you see these kind of ones where they they uh, find rare fish in like a sewer and shit. They're always fake. And there's this is like a thing that like there's so many of these channels that do this. These like American guys that like that make these fish videos. It's like catch them all fishing and stuff. It doesn't one with a snake. Oh, of course, diddly snake in the pool. That's another classic one they all do as well. So I don't have hopes that any of this is legit, but I'm gonna give them a chance for some reason. Okay, so I think this is the oldest one. This one's two months ago. They always have these intros as well. What, what's up with that? <laughs> it's so loud. But a little backstory. I got an email from a subscriber who works at this pet store and she said that some stuff is going on here uh, that you know I've been aware of for a long time. I know pet stores do this, but she said that her managers make her and her other employees throw away you know fish when they're sick when they get new shipments they literally just throw them away uh, just because they don't want to spend the money and the time to treat the fish to sell them i had her confirm that she actually does work here and we made the trip over here she said to come on thursdays around noonish that's when they get new shipments we got dumpsters behind us from this fish store we're gonna walk up there and i'm praying to god that there's no fish in there but you never know she says that they usually throw fish away every single week and she can't do anything about it because she'll get fired so she contacted me and we're gonna we're gonna okay i just want to say this whole thing is really weird to me like a pet store forcing their employees to throw out live animals and i actually talked to a few employees from different American pet stores and I don't know what pet store they're referring to because they're not saying it but I assume it must be one of the chain pet stores like possibly PetSmart or Petco allegedly. I talked to some people uh, and basically everyone said that no store allows you to throw out live animals like that's completely not allowed and obviously you know every store might be different but I don't know what like area they're in or whatever but I could not find a single one on anywhere that I looked. I looked on a bunch of forms as well, like different uh, Reddit forms from different pet stores, like Petco and PetSmart Reddit forms. Not saying Reddit is a super reliable, but basically a bunch of employees or uh, past employees um, were talking about it. And basically every employee said the same thing. They're not allowed to throw away any live animals. I just wanted to pop in because I wanted to do a bit more digging just because I definitely don't want to like spread any misinformation about these YouTubers. And the more I look into it, the more I believe that their videos are fake. So I made a post asking you guys on my community tab uh, for people that have experience working in American pet stores, asking if they were ever told to throw out any live animals or what they do when animals become sick. Because the guy in this video said that when the fish are sick, they just throw them out instead of taking care of them. And, and every week they throw out a bunch of fish on the day they get the shipments too, which also, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> uh, and basically, I went through all the comments. Every single comment said basically the same thing. I will put some on the screen here. They never throw out live animals. They're never told to throw out live animals and it's completely against company policy. Um, a lot of people said that when fish are sick, they uh, treat them. Uh, if they can't help them, they will adopt them out to people that can help them instead of selling them in the store. Uh, when fish do die, a lot of the time they don't even throw dead fish in the dumpster, they actually get them cremated. A lot of people also said that they never order more fish uh, than they know they can keep. So like, I think uh, at some point in his video he mentions that sometimes they have too much fish so they just throw them out. 
Um, a lot of people said that they don't order like more than they can keep. Some people said that if they do end up overstocked, they put them in other departments. They have uh, employees only rooms where they will keep them until they have room on, like, on the floor. There were some people that said they do throw out the dead bodies uh, in the trash, but a lot of people said that they don't do that. They actually cremate all of them. Sometimes if a sick fish is really bad that they can't cure them, they just humanely euthanize them like with clove oil. If fish have like a contagious disease, they will shut down the whole tank and treat the entire tank or the entire rack because they're all kind of connected yeah i mean i will put a bunch of comments on screen because these are really helpful and not a single one said that they're ever allowed to throw out a live animal so i just find it really weird in this video that he says specifically that an employee told him to pick up these fish that they throw out it was a good lie though not gonna lie he does make this first video a bit convincing. However, a lot of people said that a lot of the time um, members of the public will dump animals either in their pets or dumpsters or they'll dump them outside the store or something like that. Um, usually because people will try to return those animals and for whatever reason they can't accept it, maybe because the animal is sick or, or I don't know, sometimes they just can't accept returns or people just try to give them a bunch of animals and they can't accept all of them so instead those people will just dump them in the pet store dumpster or outside the pet store so basically to force the pet store to take them in and also i'm really sorry that i'm talking a lot i know i've barely watched the video but I feel it's very important that I actually talk about this as well. I'm also not trying to say that every single dumpster rescue video you see is fake. I do think that a lot of them are unfortunately fake. However, I think that some of them are probably real. It's because so many people do dump animals behind pet store dumpsters. I just don't think we should be accusing pet stores of dumping live animals because it just doesn't seem like that's a thing that they're allowed to do. And I don't even support chain pistols at all i talk about that a lot they do a lot of bad things but they're not allowed to dump live animals but we'll keep watching anyway you know i could totally but, uh, be wrong brandon you said you're getting in the dumpster we gotta save the fish and we're stupid we didn't i we knew what we were doing today and i still look at me i'm gonna go in the dumpster like this I didn't... is that a siphon should i grab it do it i'm like getting siphon. closer look, oh my god this is a freaking siphon yeah that's sick look and there's fish inside of it brandon oh. this is a fish tank oh, wait there's actually fish in here brandon Dude. Right now, I'm not even kidding. Look, there's I actually see. fish. Hold on, I don't want to. There's so much stuff. You gotta get down there, bro. Look, there's another one in the cup, bro. It's alive. Look, he's swimming. Get it's him. Actually, You're gonna actually get, get in there. The I don't like this. This is not cool. Oh, my face is in the doctor. No freaking way, dude. There's actually fish in there. Oh, it's like wet, bro. Look at this. There's actually a beta fish in the dumpster, guys. There's a dead one, dude. Oh, I see that? Yeah, I see the dead one. Dude, that thing is so dead. Get him. That thing is dead. I don't like that. Guys, that's a dead beta fish. I don't know if it was alive when they threw it in here, but it's freaking dead. All the way in the back, there's a bag. Look, there's fish in it. Let's go get it. Right there, look. I don't know how to get it, dude. I don't want to get in there. Oh my god. Is that a Plinko? <gasps> he's alive! Oh my god, Brandon, he's alive! We need water. Get the water. Right Poor little thing. Okay, he can, he can survive in here. Oh my god. You okay, buddy? Oh, he don't look too good. He's he's mo he was moving, though. Does he have ick? <gasps> he's moving, yes! Yes, baby. The way they talk comes across really fake, but I don't know if that's just the way, like, American talk. <laughs> Is that mean? But I feel like, you know, you know what I mean, though, right? Like, YouTubers who, like, do these kind of videos, they talk, like, and it just sounds really fake. I don't know. In the first video I watched, all the fish were in a box together. This one, they're not. They're actually something like they're hard to find, so... I don't know though. Oh, see, look, even this top comment. Is someone who works at PetSmart, go in and ask if you can talk to a store lead or assistant store lead. They can get in so much trouble if the district... The district manager finds out they're throwing out live fish. If you report it, they'll force them to do something. That's insane, my sword. Never do something like that cool. See, that, this is what I mean. So they're really out dumping animals. Why wouldn't they use it as proof? The email that they got from the employee is proof that they're dumping animals, which they can't do. Like, that straight up is illegal. I mean, I don't know if it's illegal in America. I assume it would be, because that's really bad animal cruelty. The employee who emailed them or whatever, I don't know if that's true, but that's what they said, should definitely, like, talk to someone higher up about that because that's not normal a store should not be throwing out live animals <coughs> maybe the viewers just might see it i can't how wait. can they even I, see i might be able to grab it dude this is gross though i'm gonna move this what even is this look see him look it's a bag of goldfish oh i see him oh there's two bags <gasps> there's two bags that's another thing is like how did they just know that was right there like that was not in in, in view at all i'm gonna hold it i got him those are the two I saw. Brandon, grab him. Shoot. We gotta go. We gotta go, dude. The cops are coming. 
probably way more, dude. I don't want to leave them, but we gotta go. Guys, we're gonna roll out, bring these guys back to my house, and I'll try to save them. I don't know if any are gonna make it. Look at this. There's a bag of goldfish right here. A whole bag of goldfish. All right, guys. Well Wow, isn't it crazy how this bag full of like 20 goldfish is so clean since goldfish are like the messiest fish ever. I don't even see a single piece of poop in there. It's so crazy. It's almost like they just filled it up with goldfish just before they filmed the video. <laughs> Why would they throw a whole bag of goldfish? That makes no sense because these, those look like a bag of like feeder fish. So feeder fish are just like a bunch of like poorly bred sick goldfish that they sell for cheap as feeders obviously so if the fish was sick they wouldn't care they just kind of put them all in a tank squished together so why would they throw out perfectly like live fish i it doesn't make any sense even if they were sick feeder fish are always sick so i don't think they would throw them out just because they're sick and, and plus chain pet stores don't really care when fish are sick they just they still sell them you see that all the time i got most of it i was in okay i was in the dumpster and I was it before or after we found the two bags of fish? Pet store employee, I'm trying not to say the name, a pet store employee pulled up in his truck. I think it was like the manager or something like that. He pulled up, he was like, okay, when the cops see, see you on the cameras, they come and they'll give you like a $250 ticket. I was like, oh, okay. Also, I would probably just say their name too. Like, if they're actually doing this, then expose them for it, right? I don't think you can get into legal trouble if they're literally like throwing out live animals. They're the ones that will get in trouble. Although, in America, you can just sue for like everything, right? So I guess um, it's- Because I knew I there know, had to be more fish in there. So I started rummaging really quickly. Look at that thing. B -b 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 fish. He's, he looks pretty healthy, or she. Oh, it's a, it says right here, female veil tail. So we got a freaking like, free- Why would they throw out a perfectly healthy female beta? Beta fish it looks fine, too. But for now, we're gonna get the rest of these goldfish in the bucket, guys, and then we're gonna figure out what the heck we're and doing. And I've seen like pet stores in America sell betas in horrible conditions, and they're still for sale. So it's just weird to me they would throw out a perfectly healthy oh, one. What's the reason? Oh, yeah, look at all of them. Look at all those. You think they have like ick or something? I don't think I've ever owned a beta fish. First time ever, so we're gonna get her into the fountain pond. There you Why? go, Miss Beta. Wow! Oh. Look how pretty she is. Since why that is a female. What, what, why are you putting her in a fountain? What's happening? Why? Does that mean we can have more females in there? Guys, comment down below. I know nothing about betta fish, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Oh, I see. Think of how lucky she is, dude. She she went from the dumpster to the... To a pond that she's gonna die in. Thing. If someone would have bought her in a store, she probably would have ended up in like a little bowl. It's not, not a good idea to put betta fish in a pond. Oh, not, not even a pond, it's a fountain. Um... First of all, they are tropical fish. I don't know, maybe they live in a really hot area that stays exactly 25 degrees Celsius and doesn't fluctuate, but I really doubt it doesn't ever fluctuate and it's not a good idea to have it beta in temperatures where it's constantly fluctuating and if it's outside without, you know, the temperature being monitored, which I don't think you can really monitor the temperature in a fountain, then it's then it's gonna fluctuate. Also, this will overflow when it rains very easily. It's pretty much already overflowing, so it's gonna just overflow and then she might just fall out. She also might just jump out of it because betta fish are jumpers. They need to have lids on their tanks. Or she'll get eaten by like a bird or something. I don't, know why, nice I don't know why you're fishing pond. here. Um, very cool, so yeah. Okay. Are ready? They're gonna clean everything off. Yeah, all the algae on the side, they're gonna... There they go. Well, it should get like three feet long. In I'm here. probably gonna treat this fountain with a uh, from ick and all that too. There's definitely a reason why they were in the dumpster in the first place, you know. I think we figured out. What would they gonna... really throw them out if they just had ick? Because ick is super common. Like it would be, like whenever you whenever they get fish in, they probably have a few with ick. So it would be really weird if they just threw them out just because they have ick. Because they would be throwing out a ton of fish and losing a bunch of money. So we're gonna put them in this tank. And we're gonna treat this whole tank. We're gonna treat this tank, and then we're probably gonna put them into the mini pond later on once we know they have no diseases. I would not. A purple do that. glow glowfish right there. Ready? Do they get I don't even know what this is, you guys. You got you got to comment down below what that is, because I have no freaking idea. Albino shark, I think. It looks albino, but like they're pretty cool. Oh, they get really <laughs> huge, though. There we go. Little pink glowfish. Ah! Why would they throw these perfectly healthy okay. fish? Lastly, we so have healthy. all these goldfish. Now, I don't know what to do with these freaking fish. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them in like a little tub and we're gonna treat the whole thing, make sure they have no parasites, and then we're probably just gonna like feed them to the fish because literally I have no idea what 
I would do with these theater goldfish. That's the one thing with dumpster diving and getting fish like that. Like you don't really choose what you can get. Like I don't want these, I have no place for them. I think there's like a thing called beta fish sororities. Like if it's a female, they can be with other females. So if so, we could put more beta fish in here. That'd done. be really cool. But yeah. but yeah, guys, uh, I think right now- Please I'm don't put more fish in there. But I still find it really hard to believe that a store would purposely throw out live fish, especially like forcing their employees to do it. The manager or something, if they were really doing that, they would get in a lot of trouble by like the higher ups if they were actually forcing their employees to throw out live animals that are perfectly healthy. Um, from what I did read on some of those threads from other employees is that if they end up with too many fish that so they can't take care of them all, they just like rotate them through the different stores around them. They don't throw them out. This is the next video. Dude, it is so sick. I've never seen a fish that bad. Oh my god, it's deformed. Oh my god, this intro is scary. I'm skipping it. Guys, today we're going back to the pet store dumpster. We're gonna give you an update on the other fish we caught previously from the dumpster. Treated them for parasites, and now they're ready to go into the pond. So, into the pond, make all room, and uh, we're gonna put all the fish we get from the dumpster today into the tank. But right now, we're gonna net out these other fish. Oh, this is nice fish pond. Right here are actually the same species, just different colors. So we got green ones there. I've same just never seen people put glowfish and like a shark in a pond before. All right, guys, we cannot say the name just like last time. I quickly summarized. I got an email from an employee at this pet store and she said that her manager, this is a very common thing with this pet store, but their manager makes them throw away live fish, live animals. Mm -hmm. If they're sick or they need room for inventory or something like that, they throw them away in the dumpster and the first day we came here we found tons of fish oh the dumpster's jam-packed today and you also said to tell our person on the inside who will remain anonymous uh to put all of the fish that they throw out in one area in one box so that it's easier for us to find them and save them so i did that i emailed her she's cool with that she told all the other employees to do that as well now instead of looking for like scattered stuff like we did That's last time we're looking for one box that has all the fish and all the stuff they throw out oh, yeah we found it we found it come here look we, found it, we found it yes we found it 100 percent. look oh my god there's so many it's very convenient that uh they got the employee to make it easier for them to put them all in one box i'm surprised the manager lets them do that again oh, snap. this would be oh, like a pretty serious case oh God, to report this for fish. animal cruelty. I don't know, maybe Can it's I just my country, but if a pet store got caught doing this, fuck, they would be like all over the news and shit. I don't know if you, like America has the SPCA. Pretty sure they do, right? Maybe there's something similar, I don't know. But if I saw this, I would 100% report to the SPCA because they are on that stuff pretty quick. By the way, guys, that was your idea, like to do that. Otherwise, we'd be looking for all these bags individually. We have a lot of fish right here, dude. It's an Oscar, no, it's not dead, it's on its side. Oh my god, look at him! There's an albino Oscar in here! And he has ick. Wait, yeah. get a shot. Dude, he has ick. He does? Yeah, look at that. You see all those white spots on him? Yeah, no, it's a baby Oscar, but it's really sick. That's why they're throwing- Dude, that's so messed up. Like, they could have just treated it. See these- Guys, these stores. That just seems so weird to me that they'll throw it out just because it has ick. Ick is extremely common, and if they had to throw out every fish that had ick, they would be throwing out probably like hundreds of fish because it's so damn common, especially after fish have gone through like traveling and stuff, transport. So it just seems weird to me that that would be the reason, because this, apart from having ick, it looks perfectly healthy and ick is really easy to treat. They would rather throw away these sick fish um, because it's too much time, too much money to treat them, and that's just so sad. Dude, it is so sick. I've never seen a fish that bad. Let me go get a bucket. This I is really so see sad. I can't really things on it, but maybe it, I don't know. Ooh, Bobby. Garami. Oh my god, what is that? What's a little it's a garami. dwarf garami. I've never seen one like this. I wonder how long these fish would be in here too, because they would really not survive in here, here for long at all. And it says sick or sink. Especially in bags. Like, they would die very quickly. Bunch of fish in this one. Look at all those mollies. Those are all little Dalmatian mollies, you guys. They're Look so at that. They're pretty too. I don't know. I can't tell because they're Such white. Such a random but like variety that, of fish too. They have a, what the heck is that? It's albino too. It's a deformed loach. Oh my god, he's back. One Dalmatian molly. So cute. There he goes. Look at the coloration. Ah! Like look at the coloration on him, bro. The red fins, electric blue. I've never seen one like that. Dude, look at Pretty that. Sure it's like really normal. In the dumpster. It just makes it even cooler. So. Oh, you can see it. Dude, it's so bad. I can't you even see it. See it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Am I blind? Dude, 
I can not oh, see it. Oh, you can really see it right here. Yeah, it's really uh, okay. bad. We're gonna trade the whole tank for Yeah, I, I, can, I can see all the fins. Let's watch the last one. This is the most recent one. The one that actually got sent to me. This one is x level in the thumbnail. I don't remember seeing an x <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> now, I told the employee whenever you guys have to throw out these sick fish pickers to your manager to put them in one little box so it's easy for us. The first time we did this, dude, I was like crawling around so in there. Convenient. It was under all this stuff. They were just throwing them in. Oh my god. <laughs> actually, not that bad. In here. Good thing he didn't squish the fish because they know where the fish actually are. God, look at all these betas. Beta, 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 beta. Oh, Why would they throw out all these betas? Oh, he's alive! He's alive! He was upside down. Another convenient thing is they put them all in their own little separate containers and bags for them. How nice of them. Even though they were just throwing them out to die, they still put them in their own containers. <laughs> Very shockingly clean containers, if I might add. Oh, look how dirty that water is. This one, it's mostly beta fish. That look one's got, that. like, mustard yellow color. That's Look how dirty this water is, dude. Who knows how long he's been in there for. Yeah, in the Florida sun. Looks too, pretty clean, yeah. actually. This one's Looks dead. very this one's clean. Water is literally it's cloudy, just but there's no poop water. floating yeah. around. He's pretty though. Yeah. Oh, there you go. You can see him now. He's really pretty. So sad. That's actually Dude, impressively the clean. Fishes, they probably could have lived in that dumpster Kinda a while sus? because they actually breathe oxygen. Um, oh god. Throw it up and put some betas in here. No. Hey guys, we're gonna do a little update on the one beta fish we found in the bet. Oh my god. We found a beta fish in the pet store dumpster before we put. Yeah, it in where'd the it go? Here's a little story on what happened with that. So it I died? came out here one day. The baby fish was doing great for like a week. I came out here and I did not see her. And then a couple of days after that, I found a Mayan cichlid dead in here, like this big. My dad told me, oh yeah, I put him in there. So when we put the new beta fish in here, that what? problem will not happen. Hey man, we just saved those. Wait, Don't so it, the last one died because someone put a cichlid in there? Why would you put a cichlid in a fucking... Why would you put any fish in a fountain? Let's be honest. But where would you put a sickle? Yeah, guys, we're gonna spice this up, make this like a little bit of 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 a because I always see them like online. I see pictures this of them selling sick ones. I don't know why they would just choose to throw out these ones uh, okay, so where most of them don't look sick oh, at all. Look how clean the I'm I'm like so like shocked at how clean all the bags and stuff look. Give some away, I think. So what we're gonna do right now, guys, oh, is something we never do on the channel. We're gonna give away these fish. So to enter to win a beta fish, we have eight oh. right here. To enter, all you have to do is like this video, comment on this video, and follow me and Rob on Instagram. Do you think and, I should uh, enter? Yeah. Us. yeah. If you do, do you all that, I'll, you're entering. Do you think I'll ship a fish to New Zealand for me and pay all the um, import beta costs? Fish. There's a bunch of them. Just comment which one you want. Yeah, both. we'll do like a big raffle on your Instagram. Yeah. So right now, guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get these guys acclimated. We're gonna put most of them into the fountain part. So They're all gonna, gonna die after before the giveaway. We're gonna get a crap ton of plants and just be like That's I said, this no is only temporary because we're gonna be giving every single one of these away. So the quicker you guys enter, the quicker we can give them away. And oh. you know, from a dumpster, I mean, this is better than them dying, right? Look how pretty ah, this one is. Is it? Is it better? I don't know. Really gorgeous. Go, little beta. guy, you're saved. Oh, Quiggy's going <laughs> in the hole. Is he saved? He's going in the hole. Pretty. Look at him. So blue. There you go. What? Why are yeah, they, they putting them all together? Plants, just a bunch of plants, man. They should. Doing the best we can. I mean, obviously. We weren't planning on saving like 10 betta fish today. Maybe you but should. We're doing the best that we really then. can right now with what we got. I'm sorry, but I don't. I just don't like it when people promote rescuing animals without actually having any of the supplies to do it. Because I don't mean to be like mean, but you're rescuing them to put them all in a fountain together, so so they can fight each other to the death. That's not really rescuing. I understand like sometimes like it's an emergency and you have to rescue this animal, but at least have containers you can use as temporary setups. Put them all in their own like little containers. But putting them in like a little garden ornament outside, I don't get it. But also you shouldn't give away live animals. Oh my god. I just think that that's really irresponsible for anyone to ever do. I think doing a giveaway on like a tank and a bunch of supplies is a good idea but without the live animal because it's better to actually have a tank set up first, cycled, ready to go before you get an animal, a fish I mean. Um, but also I don't think these fish are gonna last very long. They're putting them all together in a fountain. It's gonna be a freaking battle royale in here. Betas are extremely territorial and aggressive, which is why you're supposed to only keep them solitary. Um, 
These are all male betas are putting here. And in this little tiny so fountain, which there's not beta. even much water in here. He doesn't. This is the one that doesn't look too hot. He's really pretty though. This might be my favorite. There's no poop in this water. There's no poop. Gorgeous. There you go, Super little safe. guy. Consider yourself safe from the dumpster. Look at him. Is he saved? Top plants here. We also got some that are gonna sink and just you know fill up the whole area. But this should provide them a lot of cover. Give them their own. I mean, I, I'm sorry, but that's so not gonna do anything. So guys, the deal with these betta fish, now, since we have these plants in here, they're gonna feel all safe, they're gonna fish. have their own little homes. There's another one right down there. So as you can tell, they all are comfortable in here, they all got their little homes. There's just not enough space in there for them to actually have their, have their own territory, so they're gonna fight to the death. I'm sorry, but... Oh, what the fuck is this? Knitting wild axolotls in Tiny Creek. Ah! Alright, I need to watch this video real quick and see... He catches some. Oh my God, Brandon! What? What the heck is that? Wild axolotls. <gasps> There'll be no crawfish in here. If we catch an axolotl, we're gonna. Gonna catch an wild axolotl? Oh! <gasps> you are a big watcher. In Florida Everglades. This is where I caught that giant fire eel. Is in one of these. Okay, I'm just gonna say it real quick, just to get over and done with. You cannot find axolotls in the wild in America or anywhere else that's not Mexico, and even then, they're so endangered. That they're really hard to find in the wild. Axolotls can only be found in one lake in Mexico. They're pretty much almost extinct though, so they're really hard to find in the wild. You will not find them anywhere else unless they're dumped there, but they wouldn't survive very long after being dumped because they're very sensitive animals. I don't know if he actually finds an axolotl, maybe it's a uh, tiger salamander. But let's see. He went here, he didn't catch an eel, but he caught an axolotl. So I'm Did gonna he? show you guys where he caught it. I'm also pretty sure axolotls are like super rare, even where they come from. Like, I'm pretty sure they're endangered, no? Yeah, exactly. That's why this video is completely fake. Holy crap! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Get in the net! This is so Get in the real, net. you guys. Oh! Dude, we got one! Oh my god! This is so Look real. Oh Whoa! They found one. Oh That's so we crazy. They found one. I can't believe it. There's actually axolotls in here. Oh my god! Okay, I don't think it's, it's an axolotl. It's a big salamander! I've never seen one before! Are they to be in the water? I don't know anything about them. Don't oh, get them then. So Leave them alone. Hey, it definitely looks like tiger salamander love aid to me. Is he going there? I don't know. Guys, comment stuff about axolotls. I know nothing about them. Yeah, clearly. Look at, like, the stuff on his head, like his gills. They're so cool. So, I think it's a tiger, sal uh, the, 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 tig tiger salamander larvae. It looks like that to me, which is completely different to an axolotl. Tiger salamander larvae actually turn into tiger salamander, which can like come out of water and breathe air and stuff. And axolotls stay in their larvae stage their whole life. And I'm pretty sure, I could be wrong, this is either a tiger salamander or they've just put an axolotl there to pretend to catch it, which is very cruel in my opinion, to put an axolotl through that much stress. Or they did that with a tiger salamander as well, so they can pretend to catch that and pretend that was an axolotl, because I don't think, sounds really mean, but I don't think this guy is that dumb that he would actually think this is an axolotl, which I don't like to call people dumb, I don't like to insult people, so that's why I'm pretty sure this whole thing's actually fake and he's just doing this all on purpose to get views. And if you actually catch a tiger salamander, I don't like the idea of just catching them and taking them from their environment and taking them home. Like, I don't know, it just seems kind of mean. I'm just not a fan of wild caught fish, keeping them as pets, you know, it's just not my thing. We actually freaking got one. They are real. They do exist here in the Everglades. Oh my gosh, I don't know what to say. This is just the coolest thing ever. And we came across this little tiny creek and it paid off. Is everyone, right, I would not put them together in there. Folder. We're gonna acclimate them here. The tank is still a little cloudy. There's our axolotl going into the tank. Three. Where's it gonna go? Two. One. I say left. There he goes. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Straight into his hut? No way. No, left. Dude, he's so cool. He looks so cool. Oh my gosh. Oh, what did he just do? That's he definitely like a tiger something. salamander. Oh, he did it again. This tiger salamander is going to need a half land tank soon once it starts to, you know, go through metamorphosis. So, um, yeah, but there, there's nothing saying that it's actually a tiger salamander. Like, you know, he didn't make any, uh, any comment about it or a description. So, I don't know. That's why I also think that this is just done on purpose. Also, careful of the small rocks, you can eat those.
so yeah, that's those videos. Um, honestly, I I'm gonna say I think these are all fake. Like, just by looking at his channel as well. My fish died. This is a really weird thumbnail. Oh my god. Can you imagine if I made that when... <laughs> What if one of my pets died? Maybe I should start doing that. It gets a lot of views, clearly. And there's actually tons of channels like this. I mean, I've never seen dumpster channels. I'm sure there's other ones, though, but similar content, though, is all, all over YouTube. I've talked about some of them before, but this channel is new to me. Um, I have been DM'd it quite a bit lately. And yeah, I just find all of these really hard to believe, and I don't think that they're legit. I do think that Sometimes people do find live animals at dumpsters, but I think that most of the time it's just from people of the public who are dumping them there. But if you do ever find live animals in a dumpster, in like a pet store dumpster, please report it. So please, down below in the comments, let me know what you think about these videos. Uh, it does worry me because there's just so many of them and they clearly just put these fish through so much stress just to film these fake videos. And also, I mean, I don't like these chain pet stores, but it isn't right to just like go around saying that they're dumping all these live animals when they're actually not and you're the one doing this and acting like the hero, allegedly. Maybe that's why they don't say the pet store's name because the pet store's actually not doing anything. And they will actually get into legal trouble if they're pretending that a pet store is doing this. It's really easy to lie on the internet and unfortunately a lot of people believe this stuff because we want to believe people are doing good but unfortunately it doesn't seem like that's the case a lot of the time. And it really sucks because it does uh, make it harder for real animal rescues to actually get out there and get the praise they deserve for actually rescuing an animal. But that's not what this is. <sighs> so this is a long video. I think I filmed for like two hours. Um, yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. Let me know what you think. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.